Which one is going to perform better on a budget, AMD or Intel, when it comes to portability? Now I have two laptops sitting beside me, one's AMD and the other one is Intel. The Intel processor is going to be the Intel Pentium 2020M clocked at 2.4 GHz running with the Intel HD 2500. Now on the AMD side we have the Radeon R5 graphics with the AMD A86410 UAPU. Now let's see how well these two computers perform, which uh, I, also, I also forgot to mention. The AMD computer is the Lenovo G50, and the Intel processor computer is going to be the Asus X501A. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the benchmarks and see which one is better. The Pentium 2020M scored a total of 148 score on the rendering image test, and AMD scored a total of 164. What about the Cinebench test for OpenGL? Well, we got you covered on that. We have a total of 17.5 FPS on the AMD APU, and then we have a total of 9.68 frames per second on the Pentium processor. Let's try some real world games like Far Cry 3. So Far Cry 3 on the Pentium processor is running at about 16 frames per second on average. It would go up to the 20s, but it would rarely do that. It dropped back to about like 15, 16 frames per second. With the AMD APU, you're getting on average about 20 frames per second. It'd go up into the 30s, but it would go back to the 20s. It's unplayable, but it's definitely better over the Intel HD integrated graphics. On the AMD APU, we were able to average about 73 frames per second. Well, wait, wait, wait a second. That's my computer right there. Sorry. Um, so on the Intel Pentium processor computer, we were able to manage to get about 10 frames per second on average. And then on the AMD APU, we were getting about 17 frames per second on average. So really not that good with Crisis 3. I rendered out a 10 minute clip with Camtasia Studios at 1080p MP4 format, and it seems like Intel is actually pulling ahead over AMD. So which one is better in conclusion, AMD or Intel? In my honest opinion, I'd say that Intel is better in terms of video editing and web browsing, and AMD is better for graphics design and casual gaming. But that pretty much has to conclude for my video. I'm gonna let you guys decide which one is better. If you did enjoy this episode, please hit that like button, dislike the video if you didn't like it, and if you wanna see more, subscribe, and I'm gonna catch everybody in the next episode.